If you're still getting error messages when you're working with Pro Tools and you've tried the first few optimizations in this video knowledge base, then you can disable your network connections as a troubleshooting procedure. Here's how to turn off your network connection and then turn it back on again once you've finished troubleshooting. From your desktop, go to the Start menu and choose Control Panel. When the Control Panel opens, click on the Device Manager to open that. In the Device Manager, click on the Network Adapters to reveal your network connection. To disable it, right-click and choose Properties. Under the Drivers tab, just click the Disable button. When you do click it, you'll get a warning saying that disabling this device may cause it to stop working. Just click Yes. You can also disable that driver by right-clicking and choosing Disable directly from this menu. Again, in the dialog, just say Yes. Once you've done this, come up and close the Device Manager and the Control Panel. Now, once your network connection is disabled, launch Pro Tools and open a session. Work with Pro Tools to assess whether your problems have been resolved. If they have, then you potentially have an incompatible network card. The solution? Replace it with a new one. If your problems still persist, on the other hand, then turn your network connection on and continue troubleshooting. Let's go up to the File menu and choose Exit. Don't need to save this session. Come down to the Start menu and again choose Control Panel. Now, once that Control Panel opens, click on Device Manager and then come back to your network adapter. Right click it and choose Enable. Once your network connections are re enabled, close the Device Manager and close the Control Panel.